So we've added questions to a pool. Now we need to add those questions to an actual test. So let's go to your learning module, module one people, go to grade assessment and click on test. Okay, so we need to create a new test. So click on create here, give it a name. So let's say module, say module one test, description, test for module one, instructions, Answer all the questions and click on submit. Um, now we need to create the sorry, not create the questions, we need to reuse questions. So go to find questions. And these are the four questions that we have. Um, if you remember when we made questions, we added um, the metadata. So you can search for this metadata here. If you just want levels of difficulty, let's say easy only the easy questions will come up. If you want, let's say categories, um, we had grammar, only two of these will come up in the grammar category. What we're looking for is the actual pool. We've got module one questions, so we've selected all of these. We want all these four questions into our test. So we select all these four, click on submit. And as you can see, these have been added here, one, two, three, four. We might want to change the points value. This is 10, so maybe this is just going to be two points. You can give extra credit if you want for this one. We won't. Click on Submit. Again, maybe two points for this as well. Submit. Two points for this. Submit. Sorry, this one here. Matching. Matching probably four because there are four different answers. Submit. The last one. This would be four as well. Click on submit and OK. So now we've we've created the test, we've added the questions, we've set the point values. We're happy with that, so click on submit. Um, now we have to set the test properties. OK, so test for module one. Open the test in a new window, maybe yes. Make the link available to students, yes. Add a new announcement for this test, yes. You can allow multiple att attempts, so it's unlimited attempts here. Force completion, so that it must be done in one sitting. You can set the timer. Um, when you set the timer, you have auto submit off or on. Um, it's probably best that the auto submit is set to on. So when the one hour is up, it automatically the test will be saved and submit, submitted automatically. So I won't leave the timer on for this one. You can have display dates as well. Display after, until, but we leave it open. You can add a password as well. Um, put in a due date if you want and include this test in the Grade Center score calculations. Different types of test feedback, just the score, um, maybe all the feedback as well, maybe the correct, maybe submitted. So you can pick the different levels of test feedback, presentation mode all at once or one at a time and you can stop backtracking and we might want to randomize the questions. Um, it's very easy to do in Blackboard 9. Once you've set up the properties, click on Submit and now we've added the test here. Let's have a look at this in student mode. So I need to go to edit mode is off and the student must access this from the uh, table of contents. So model one test. Let's just make this a bit bigger. Begin the test here. So these are the four questions. So you've got, okay, happy matches with, with sad, quiet, with noisy, big, with small, and hungry with full. As you can see the order has been changed around. These are randomized as well. There is some sugar in the bowl. Um, I sh actually should have put more instructions in this one here. The opposite of big is small. Yes. Which adjective best describes the picture? Let's say it's going to be happy. These are randomized as well and you didn't have to actually put in these numbers here. So once you're happy with that um, the answers do get saved um, automatically after it. There's a time lag of a few seconds. As you see, this has been saved here now. Let's wait to see when this gets saved. It's taking a little bit of time. They do get automatically saved. In this case, I'm waiting too long, so you can click Save Answer as well if you don't want to wait. 
answer is saved okay um, there is the save all answers there as well students you can make sure students press that before submitting once you're ready save and submit click on OK so let's click on OK again and we have 12 points out of 12 click on OK that takes us back to the module